Hey guys, welcome back to Rifleman 2.0. Today we have a real daisy that I know some of you guys have been waiting for for a while. It is none other than the Ruger Single 6 in 22 long rifle. Stick around, check it out with me. Now the Ruger Single 6 has been produced since 1953 and is still being produced today. Now a fun fact about the one that I have in my hand right now is an original three screw. So these were only manufactured from 1953 until 1973. So these were the ones before Ruger started putting in some of the new safety features in the newer models. So that's kind of fun just knowing that right there. But anyway, so the basic facts about this particular revolver, it's a single action 22. And it's not like the newer models that you're gonna see. You'll have your safety cock right there, and you still can't pull the trigger right there, still can't rotate the cylinder. Put it on the half cock, still can't pull the trigger, but now you can freely rotate the cylinder to facilitate loading, of course, and take it back to full cock, and then that's when you'll be able to fire. And as you'll see right here on the side, just like an old single action army, it flips open for the loading gate right there, freely rotate, line it up, and then load your cartridge in appropriately. And as you can clearly see, the revolver's not loaded while I'm doing the demo on it. Let's be safe, guys, okay? So anyway, today we are gonna be shooting this little guy and checking out some of the features of it. And depending how well I can shoot the darn thing, we'll have some fun with it at the end of the video. So stick around for that. So let's check out some more of the features on the revolver here. So like we already discussed, it has the safety notch, the loading notch on there and then full cock and of course it loads up like a regular single action so same way as any other single action you'll use the manual ejector so you'll put it on half cock just like that line up the cylinder and then punch the empty shell out and you'll see me do that during the video you'll notice every bit of this is solid steel that's right solid steel except for the wood grip the new ones don't have this. They're all this uh, composite metal crap to cut down costs. No, this was back when they actually made firearms the way they should make firearms, solid steel. Now it's a little bit heavier and they are obviously more expensive, but it's worth it. This was back in the day when they weren't so much concerned about total cost, they were more concerned about quality. And unfortunately that's something that's kind of gone to the wayside in favor of cost, but here we are, it's 2022, what are you gonna do, right? So anyway, let's check out some more stuff. Now, as I mentioned with the old models, they don't have some of the new updated safety features. So you'll see with this one, if the camera will catch it correctly, you'll see that the hammer will directly impact the firing pin right there. So your safety is your control of that hammer on this thing, as opposed to the Ruger Wrangler, one of the new concoctions that they have, and you'll see it in some of the other modern Ruger guns. This one has just a straight cock function. There is no safety notch. There is no loading notch. It's just straight back. And you'll see in there the transfer bar that prevents accidental misfires if you were to happen to drop the gun or short stroke it. Obviously this one's not loaded either. Another feature of the gun is the Vix Dovetail raised sights and the fixed front sight on there. So you can manually adjust that sight if she's hitting left or right. So that's pretty good. Now for ammunition today, we're gonna to be shooting the Remington 22 Thunderbolts. I am not a fan of Remington ammunition whatsoever. It shoots dirty, the quality control and load differentials are all over the place, but you know, given the times right now, thanks to our friends over at the Donkey Party, I wonder why they're represented by a donkey. Hmm. This is what I got to work with. Now, this is also older ammunition. And you know how I know that? $26.99 for the Thunderbolts. <laughs> it's not terribly old because just a couple years ago, you know, that was the pricing. But I can still remember it. I'm this old where I can get this for probably like $15 to $10 for a 500 round box. It was nothing. But. Again, here in 2022, this is the world we live in. So anyway, other than that, this is what we're shooting. So let's go ahead and get her loaded up with six at the seven yard line. And today we're gonna to be doing two shot tests with it. So at seven and 12 yards to see how well she actually does. Knowing old Ruger quality, I've got pretty high hopes for this thing. I'm pretty well expecting uh, good accuracy out of this thing. 
Ruger's always been well known for its quality, at least for the older stuff. So I'm very confident on how well she is going to do. Just like any other single action, she can be slow loading. You gotta do one chamber at a time. But that's half the fun, isn't it? There's six. All right, let's give it a go. And there's six. Let's see how she did. And there you'll have it at seven yards. Six nice, slow, well-aimed shots. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that key holding six. Not too bad, just a hair high, but at seven yards, she's looking pretty darn good. Straight as an arrow, just a bit high. So two-handed at seven yards, we're looking pretty darn good. So I'm curious how I'm gonna do if I shoot it single-handed. Let's give it a shot. All right, so let's give it a go at seven yards, one-handed. There's six, looking pretty good. And there she is, seven yards, one-handed. Got one down here that I clearly threw because the rest of the group is up here. Group looks great. Now, obviously, this is my handicap. I'm pulling to the left whenever I shoot single-handed. Uh, I've seen this before with other revolvers where I shoot single-handed and it likes to pull to the left. So that's a shooter error. That's something that I have to learn to correct. We'll work that out, but otherwise, she's looking pretty darn good. Now she's still a little bit higher, just like in the last volley, uh, which I kind of expected because I was aiming bull on it, but the group tells the story. It's just, it's looking good. So I can tell you guys already, <laughs> I am thoroughly enjoying shooting the single six here. It's basically like shooting my uh, 44 Super Blackhawk. Again, I mentioned it before, the, uh, the old Rugers, they just, their quality. I mean, you could feel the quality in the darn thing. The weight and balance is right where you want it to be. The fit and finish is fantastic. And even the grip is perfectly contoured, especially for my big mitts. And it just, it points very, very well. The sights seem like they're pretty well spot on with, except for my handicap and going a little bit high at the seven. So we're going to see how well she does at 12. So I'm anticipating we're probably going to be a little bit closer to bull this time because we're a little bit further out. So let's find out. All right, 12 yards it is. So we'll go two-handed on it and see how well we do. Huh, got a little bit of a weird string pattern there, but all right. That'll work. Well, how do you like that? Nice little mouse tail. Huh. Uh, again, they all tended to go high, so I'm wondering what that's about, but all right, I mean, it's, it's doing pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna shoot that again, because this is clearly shooter error. That's definitely not the gun. So let me repaste you this, and we'll do two-handed again. All right, let's give that another go with the two-handed and do it right this time. Yeah, that's what I thought, a whole lot better. And there's your second two-handed group at 12 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there, and it holds pretty well in there. So, not bad, not bad at all. 
All right, now let's give it a rip one-handed at 12 yards. <laughs> Not so good that time. Yeah, definitely not so good that time. One, two, three, four, keyhole five, and six. Yeah, that's kind of crap, but whatever. It's one-handed at 12 yards. Shoots good enough. Alrighty. So that's how we're looking for general accuracy on the old model Ruger Single 6 with six-shot volleys, two-handed and one-handed. Something you got to remember, I'm not bench shooting, okay? I know a lot of you have brought that up before. Bench shooting would show the purest form of accuracy out of this thing because it's a stable shooting position. It minimizes the possibility of error. Most of us don't bench shoot though. Most of us come out on a range like this or wherever and we set up pop cans or targets or whatever and we shoot to enjoy it, okay? Now, if we want to see total accuracy, then yeah, a lot of us will prop something up, you know, maybe like a tripod or. Uh, whatever, but nine times out of ten with a wheel gun or any other handgun or even rifles and such We'll do it from the standing. We'll enjoy ourselves and shoot But we want to know what the general accuracy to be expected out of the darn thing is out of your common shooter a guy like me a guy like you or gal, you know, so I Before you guys even start in the comments. All right This is not the totality of the accuracy that you're gonna see out of the single six but generally that's what you're going to expect. There is shooter error in there. I'm a human. I make errors, okay? Uh, the gun itself is operating just fine. Some problems do come from me shooting. Some of it does come from the environment. It's a little bit hot outside, okay? So that's going to fatigue me a little bit. Whatever, not a big deal. But the point is, the accuracy is very good considering the, the range of it and considering I'm shooting from an unrested position. I've got no complaints at all whatsoever. Eventually, Maybe I'll do a bench rest video. I don't know yet. I'll get to it when I get to it. Anyway, so let's have a little bit of fun with this darn thing. I know it can shoot pretty darn good on paper. So how about we try shooting the steel next? And then after that, we're going to try something out a little bit smaller. So down there at 12 yards, I set up three eggs and I got the two swingers out. I'm pretty darn confident in this revolver. It shoots straight, does fine. I'm going to shoot it two-handed. Uh... But the only thing I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to aim a hair lower. Maybe about, maybe about an inch, I'd say. And I should have no problem. So I'm going to take a couple uh, test whacks at those swingers. Then after the three eggs, I got one shot to make up for any misses. Let's give it a rip. customers I'm not giving up till I get them though As you can see it did strike high my aim point was here and the same thing happened here now as I just discovered I've got two survivor eggs that I didn't hit so that's a problem with trying to compensate for uh, where you're gonna actually impact that sometimes you won't actually hit it but at this close I don't think it's gonna be a problem so problem solved all right, I got one more target I want to take a shot at real quick. <laughs> All right, I had to finish it off with the shaving cream. So that was fun. The Ruger Single Six is a pretty darn nice little revolver. Uh, you can't go wrong with a good 22, 
especially an older one, when they were actually manufacturing them the way they should be doing it. And that's with quality, quality parts, quality manufacturing, quality fitting, the whole nine yards. The accuracy was holding down pretty good. Yes, some of the one-handed shooting sucked. Ooh, my bad, I'm not the best one-handed shooter. But two-handed, you saw it was doing just fine, no problems, even with the reshoot. So with the Ruger single six, it performs head over heels way better over a lot of the modern alternatives. Uh, I do love my Heritage revolvers and the newer Wrangler, I suppose. It's okay, but nothing even comes close to the single six. So hope you guys enjoyed. I had a great time shooting this stuff and checking the revolver out. I never shot this thing before. This is my first bout with it, actually. These are first rounds I did with it. So I guess we all got a first look at this thing at the same time. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time.